Yo, what's good guys? Coach Tech here. So today we got another Chinese air cooler to review. This one is from PC Cooler. Listen, this bad boy basically retails, I want to say between like 55 bucks to $60. I'll have the Amazon link in the description below. Listen, cats, I got to say the presentation for this Chinese company, bro, absolutely fired. This, the presentation itself, man, beats these Corsairs, these Cooler Masters. Uh, I don't know if, it, I don't, NZXD doesn't make a air coolers. Maybe they do, not from what I know, not that I've seen. Uh, but you know, which other companies I might've, uh, basically missed, let me know in the comments, but the presentation here is absolutely fire, man. We have a 230 watt TDP. Uh, this is the G I, I want to say G I D six, six, eight, not a fan of the name too long. Make it simple. Uh, we have aura sync supports, su supports aura sync. So your gigabytes, your, um, uh, Asus, Azure, your polychromes, you know, all, all those, um, mobile sync, um, mobile sync ARGBs. Your Halo uh, RGB fan rings, your dual, um, basically a different 6mm design. Nickel, pause the vid, you guys are gonna see it. Uh, very nice, absolutely gorgy, man. Sick, fire presentation. We got a Halo LED ring, screw bracket, uh, Vortex Pro PWM fan. D nice, uh, we got uh, six by six millimeter heat pipes, uh, 72 CFM, Intel slash AMD. It supports both. Oh, uh, did I miss it? I think it was on this side. It supports both AMD AM3 and Intel 2000 Series 2 uh, 115X. So AM4 and AM3. And everything I'll have as well as in the description too, guys. Whatever I missed or just, you know, just basic information over here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We have high efficient clothes. I mean, you guys could look at this. Uh, we have an English. Yeah. Hydro bearing type. Uh, yeah. I'll just put all this. All the literature and stuff, I'll just put in the description, make it easy. But this is how the, the, the design is a bit different because we have two built-in fans as well as we have the shroud in, in, inside over here. So with the with the built-in fans, it's, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, one fan fails and you're kind of, you know, rip on that, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Let's unbox it. Let's see how it is. I am pretty curious. I am feeling this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous design. The only problem is how the hell you take it out. There you go. Very fire, Whew. very nice. Okay, so we got an unhappy and happy. Very nice, dope. I'm, I'm, right now I'm unhappy, yo, WTF, man. Why, why am I think, well, why am I busted like this, yo? It's no bueno, son. Anyways, let's take the cooler out first. Ooh, the cooler is beefy, but the fans are a bit little smaller. It's kind of not proportional, I wanna say. Okay. Okay, I, I'm not feeling this. M mine look like it's been used, bruh. Put that over here but anyways uh okay we have different back back plates this is what i'm saying guys if you're competing with the big boys with the cats you know we already have the american market guys you guys got to tell us back plates for what for it actually hold up i think it does tell us my fault i might bite my tongue all right all right oh geez man Just playing games with me bro play games with me all right so this is amd nice so it actually this is a back plate Oh shoot, this is actually cool. They got this universal looking backplate. So on this side, if you flip it, if you guys see, hopefully it catches it, it says Intel. Now, if you flip it on this side, it says AMD. So if you have an AMD CPU, you're gonna put it this way towards me. And if you have an Intel, I guess you're gonna put it again towards me. Pretty cool, very nice kind of a uh, backplate design. The, yeah, this, this feel like, this is like some, almost feels like it's almost second hand. Oh my God, let's go man, the package is gonna be playing. Oh, hell no. So, I don't know man, yo, what's up with PC coolers still sticking with uh, Molex controllers, man, they playing. But anyways, it comes with Molex control. If you guys have the Ronas, if you guys have the, uh, the Halos, it basically is the same cable, the same proprietary cable, the Coronas and the, the PC cooler Halos, those are the RGB fans which I've reviewed. Uh, but yeah, same thing, very basically same. Yeah, I, I mean, all you gotta do is, if you are gonna use them, so if you are if, if you are gonna use the ARGB functionality, this is the controller, you don't need to use this controller, all you have to do is just plug this end into your three pin five volt ARGB on your motherboard. Now, if you're not gonna do that, if you don't have that, or if you just choose not to do that, what you could do is you're gonna plug this and you're gonna use this basically controller to, for the mode, for the speed, and for the light as well. 
And then you're gonna, so let's say we're just gonna run it like this. And then this is a fan splitter, which is nice. They give you a fan splitter, which is dope. Uh, this is the instructional guide over here, installation. And now these are basically screws. Uh, we do have a little amount of thermal paste. We have a little wrench over here. Is it labeled at least? Let's see. Okay, LGA 2011. Okay, this, this is labeled Intel bracket. Okay, this is the installation bracket for Intel. And this is the installation bracket for AMD. Thank you for PC Cooler. Uh, listen, for all you companies who do this, it's easier for the consumer who's just getting your product or for a new builder who's building their PC and has no idea. This is a lot helpful. Also, helpful for the reviewer. You know, you cats make a good product. I better make a better review for you guys, you know, give you guys free publicity. So listen, always make things as easy for the consumer and just make the best product as you possibly can, guys. Good feedback will be always important. Uh, anyways, the Stroud itself. Yeah. Very cheap, very plasticky. You know, we got the nice little PC cooler, uh, the game. Yeah, I'm not feeling this, man. Oh, we got our, our, our uh, little hating salt over here that got stuck. Son, I don't wanna, oh shit, I don't wanna rip this. Oh, goddamn. Oh, my, my hating salt, for all you haters, is for you right here. <laughs> Uh, you got heat pipes over here. So these are the fans. I gotta say the shroud itself is a lot bigger than the fans. The fans are a lot smaller, but this is this is pretty beefy. It's pretty beef, uh, pretty big. The easy, I mean, the cool thing is you don't have to install the fans. There's fans already here. If you're just a lazy boy, you could just do this, and that's basically set up. Uh, anyways, these are the pins. These are the pins over here for the for the lighting. I want to say. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect these pins uh, just like this. This doesn't have to be in order, just any of them. Just plug them in like this, right? This is for the RGB effect for the fans. So you're gonna plug them all like that, right? And then what you wanna do is you see these two four pin PWM headers, right? You're gonna plug them in into the splitter, right? So this is a fan splitter, right? So what it does, it connects two fans, it runs the sing signal off, right? It's gonna be for one header, so it makes it just things a lot easier. So you're gonna do this, and then you're gonna plug this into your CPU fan header or for your CPU optional header. Any basically PWM header, it's gonna, you know, you can change the speeds and all that. And that's essentially it. This is how you this is how you connect it. Now, I am gonna run through the installation process where you're gonna install anything. I wanna say this is, I don't know, man, for, for like 60, 60 bucks, I am not, I'm really not feeling the design. I mean, listen, I'll just do the peel for you guys here. Ooh. Uh, very plasticky very poor design i am not feeling the design whatsoever but i want to i'm going to be positive i want to see if this is actually going to be um if this is going to perform really good so i am and of course the molex is you know from your power supply your power supply should have a molex connector uh it's basically a female and then you're, if if you don't know what that is just google it bro it'll make life easier and then you're going to plug it in into these males that's for power so you'll give a juice so the fans could run and and the uh the hub will run everything could run basically not the fans the the controller itself is gonna basically run to get powered. But anyways, let me plug this bad boy in. Let's see what's what, let's go. All right, so I have everything set up here. A few things I just wanna go over. So the fans, right? These fans that come pre-installed uh, to the cooler themselves are removable. You just have to pull them out and they come out. I'll show you guys in the manual. Now listen, I'll be a buck with you guys. This, this air cooler, the installation process is probably the worst, the worst installation product process, but also the hardest installation process actually to install this cooler dude i'm just gonna take a breath right now i'm gonna run you cast through this if you guys disagree let me know because i think this is just absolute insanity bro to do all this i am right now i am so pissed man but anyways first things first like i did say listen on the unboxings you know you cast you know how i do it i just freestyle or do it i don't play around with it before i just make everything as kosher as i possibly can so here as i you know did it and now when i'm installing and i'm showing you cast that these are removable, right? So you just basically pull them out both sides. As it shows here, both sides basically come out. That's cool, you know, that's what I did basically to install it. Now, another thing is, they I would have to remove basically all of my RAM. It's, it's no bueno. And then what you gotta do is you gotta use this dumb little uh, screwdriver that they give you, or not a screwdriver, um, wrench key. You gotta basically do it like this to, 
bro, this is stupid, man. I'm so pissed because it's going to take so long for me to do this right now. I'm just pissed. But anyways, Coach, you calm down. But basically, it just shows you here with, uh, all right, so this is the fan setup, and it's, it basically tells you here when, when if you're installing with the AMD socket, you know, how to install it and put all this, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is just, look at this. Look how stupid this is, guys. Just look at this. They want you to use their backplate, right? Now, in most cases, you know, in other coolers, you use, you know, your own AMD backplate, whatever. That, it is what it is. I'm not universal. But anyways, I have to hold this now, right, from the back. Now, and this is not just what I'm going to do. This is, if you're going to if you're going to cop this, you're going to do the exact same thing. Right. So we're all in pain over here. So I'm going to hold this right now. Right. I have to put it in the back to hold that and then check it. Check, check how insane. I have to put these screws through. Right. And then I have to put these screws here to retention these screws. And then I have to tie all this down with this dumbass key. Bruh, it's insane. Look at this. I have to remove this entire RAM. Right just to install this dumb thing I, like this is what i mean like yo you cats trying to compete with these well-known reputable brands make our lives easier if you make our lives easier it's easier to review your flipping product man then yeah this I'm, I'm 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 just pissed right now but anyways uh everything is broken down in the manual i gotta say the manual is pretty self-explanatory it breaks everything down it tells you what everything is for like i did say we are going to use their thermal paste which they provide in all my in all my cooler reviews my air cooler reviews i use the thermal paste which is provided with the cooler but all right let me get this installed because this is going to be a headache i got to use all these things hold this down like i said it's it's labeled here amd right and then here i showed you guys amd and then here's intel like this is no bueno cats this is no bueno we right as consumers shouldn't struggle like this to install a flipping cooler bruh uh, but anyways rant over let's get back to business let's go all right so i have a few things just installed here i just want to go over this pretty quick it's a bit confusing if, if you guys are going to do this i don't want you guys to get a bit basically you know scared off of installing it so um so when you put in these uh the long screws in here for the back plate right so i have the back plate back here right so it's essentially installed 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 by these four long screws right so what you want to do is you want to take the long screw right and then you're going to put this rubber washer so you're going to put the long screw first and then a rubber washer and then you're going to put in the back plate so you're going to do two, all four of them now once you have that installed you're going to use these screws right these screws that have this opening right you're going to use this opening and you're going to screw it on into here so you, again same thing you're going to put a washer so you're going to put this rubber washer because there's two washers there's one that's metallic and one that's rubber so you're going to put this wa rubber washer oh damn it's a bit dark you're going to put the rubber washer and then you're going to put the side with the big hole. There's a small hole and then there's a big hole. You're going to put the big hole and you're going to put it in here and you're going to screw it on like how I have it screwed on over here. And that's essentially it. This is how you install it. Then what you're going to do here, and this is not the best uh, installation guide to follow. That's what I'm showing you guys. And then you're going to put the cooler and you're going to put these, uh, um, these with the retention here and you're going to put these and then you're going to screw them on with the wrench. Like I said, guys, very tedious. I'm absolutely upset. Before we get into the cool, I just want to show you guys. They give you this 3M tape here to put on the back plate to basically have it hold. But the thing is, like, it's like one side that there's sticky on one side. On the other side, there's just this black. I thought it was magnetic, but it's just, I don't know what it is. But it's basically a one-sided double uh, 3M tape. It's not double-sided. So I don't know how to use this. So I didn't even use it. I just basically installed it put like this. Now, second thing, bro. This, yo, this right here is no bueno, man. This is so difficult to go here. Like, you see, you see like all the way down there. How the heck am I going to put this and screw it all the way down there? So basically what I did is I just used the thumb screws and I just used my hands. So I made it as tight as possible with my hand, guys. Just want to give you guys a heads up. And of course, I am using the thermal paste that came with this cooler. Now, listen, second thing, second thing. The fans, uh, the wires for the fans, when I first, and yeah, I'm feeling this. The LED, the aesthetic looks really nice. But the, LED, the, the fans, the wires that came with the fans, they're positioned only on one side. So I had to hide them. See, I had to hide them all. But basically, they were all coming out from here when you get this. So if you flip the cooler, the logo is going to be for, uh, facing the other way. Then it would have been easier to mount all the wires and put them through here. But basically, I, I made everything clean. But like I said, guys, very difficult process with this cooler. Wasn't easy whatsoever, the installation. Very tedious. 
took me more than an hour to do all this. It was such a headache. Second thing. So I, this, this is weird. So this is pushing air in, right? Now this, and this orientation is pushing air this way. And I guess it should be exhausting from the top. Now, this is the right way to install this uh, air cooler, but I'm not too sure how they did here with this methodology. Method methodology? Am I using the saying the word? But <laughs> let me know in the comments, guys, because this is how it was in the manual. I even looked at it, but this is how it's working. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this orientation. I guess the hot air is going to be all exhaust from the top since there's vents openings here and it's going to be exhausted from the top. This is a very interesting design, but overall, once it's installed, it does look nice, I gotta say, but it's worth the process so far. We didn't even get into the temps, so we're gonna get into that. Also, if you want the ARGB to work, you have to put it into the, um, so you're gonna use the Molex if you want the, a the RGB to work, or you have to plug it into the three pin ARGB for the uh, the lights to come on, basically. The fans are gonna be spinning through the fan header, but oh, anyways, that's out the way. Like I said, very difficult. Let's, uh, let's do the temps, let's do the performance. All right, quick, let's go just over the uh, CPU and the idle temp. So we are using the Ryzen 7 2700X. We have it at four gigahertz at all cores. Very important, guys, all cores. It's ideally like around 34, 35C. I just wanted to let you guys, I have just the uh, uh, Asia Horse FS9002 fans here running at 1500. I'm gonna lower the RPM. Uh, the cooler right now, I have it on standard mode, so it's gonna fluctuate with the heat of the, uh, the heat uh, of the CPU. Let's hear it how it sounds. Whisper quad. Now let's uh, let's turn them up, and of course we're gonna hear out sounds as well. Let's go. All right, so we have Ido 64 running. We have it running basically here for an hour and six minutes. Now the fans, we have the maximum fan speed up 1800 RPM. These fans do go up to 2000 RPM. This is where we're getting right now. Now for temperatures, we are getting 59 degrees C. I mean, if you guys want to round it up to 60, you can. Anyways, four gigs all cores. Now I wanna show you cats, we got CPU max temps as well at 59. Basically everything is here as you guys can see and we are running this at 106 for an hour and six minutes. Now, what I wanna do is I, I wanna put on Valley and like I always do in my testing, I wanna have Valley running in the background as well as Ida64 and just put as much heat as I possibly can. I wanna see how hot this bad boy gets. Uh, now what I'm, I'm just gonna lower these fans and we're gonna hear how this bad boy sounds. One sec. Now listen, at, eight, at eight, 1800 RPM, you guys do definitely hear it. I mean, you could always play with the fan curves and whatnot, you know, to make it sound as best. But for this, what we're getting, we are getting 59 degrees. Let's go. All right, so we have Valley Lupin in the background. We also have a Ida 64 running here for an hour and 10 minutes. We got here max 70 and we got current like at 68. So it's fluctuating between 70 and 68 degrees Celsius. The RX 590, basically I have the te uh, the temp limit turned up and the um, power limit basic turned up and you know, just to get it as hot as possible. Now it is doing, you know, it is getting hot. I mean, as you saw the temperatures went up. Uh, listen, it's, it's doing a pretty, it's doing a good job. I, I can't say it's doing a bad job, but like I said, for the installation process, for all the headaches you get of installing this cooler, you guys let me know in the comments. You guys know how I feel about it. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this cooler. But for the cooling purposes, as you guys can see the results, it's actually doing a good job. But let me know if this product that you guys would cop in the comments and if this thing would be worth it for you guys. But anyways, guys, I'm Kosher Tech. I'm going to catch you cats next time. Deuces!